Right. Right, I'm really starting to get pissed off now. This is, this is the third video I've done tonight and the other ones weren't in focus or I wasn't in frame. So if I'm not in frame now, f*** it, I don't care. Um, oh, hi, I'm Jim from the videos. Um, just a frustrating night in general. Palace losing. The, this being the third video I've done now. Just, uh, it not clicking. I don't know, it was... I said before the game, I thought we were going to lose. Which, I'm never right about anything. I probably should have backed it. But we, we just started so well, but we just seem to lose confidence when we don't put the ball in the net. And we seem not like playing under pressure. Like the pressure of, you know, should we win that kind of game? You know, and you look at kind of Wilf's crossing. You know, that, I know he hasn't got much of, much of an end product, but that's ridiculous. I mean... God, it was terrible. He did better in the second half, to be fair to him. But you just can't... Those are the sort of games against Villa that you have to win. You know, if you want to drag yourselves out of the relegation zone and prove your mid-table team, which which we haven't done now. And that and Sunderland, two chances to really prove ourselves, and we've thrown them away. But like Sunderland, we didn't play badly. You know, I, think, I haven't seen the possession stats or the shot stats, but I think we probably had more. You know, it doesn't matter if you don't turn it into stuff, does it? And Villa had a couple of chances and they scored one. It's come from a mistake from Scott Dan, who, you know, if that's what he's like in front of the England coaches, please can that they never come again, because he was terrible. Like, he never puts a foot wrong. And today he did it about ten times. I mean, normally that ball would just go out, wouldn't it? But for some reason he's tried to turn in on himself and there we are, that's why we've lost. So, I mean, there were positives. I thought MacArthur was... Excellent, all game, absolutely brilliant. Um, I thought Jednak obviously was brilliant, and I thought Shamak had a good game. Some of his stuff didn't come off, but the guy works hard and he's, and he's trying, and he's looking, he's trying to make things happen. But uh, I mean, Gail carrying an injury, but he was pretty, you know, off the ball in the first half. And Campbell, I love his effort, but oh man, that touch in the second half where he took a heavy touch with three on one. Oh god. Never been so frustrated in my entire life. And I'm, I'm, don't even get me started on the ref. Like my mate Simon, who I was sitting with, said that some refs target Neil Warnock. And I don't know, maybe they do. Maybe they feel like they want to prove something against Warnock because he made some really poor calls tonight. The lines in as well. I mean, there's almost no point in him having been there. Like he was missing so much. <sighs> Just a frustrating night all round. Like it sounds like results have gone for us elsewhere but you can't be relying on other results if you want to stay up so yeah not the best the way Palace are playing the season though you wouldn't put them past them uh, getting a result with Spurs at the weekend <laughs> anyway that's me um, here's Jay who I don't know if he'll be any more positive um, don't forget to subscribe for these videos each week each game and comment below with your thoughts on the game and the video. Um, and that's it. So yeah, see you next week. Hey, this is Jay from the Eagles Big. Uh, we're on Twitter, at the Eagles Big. And as you know, we're also, our own website is eaglesbeak.com. Just back from the Palace game. Palace plays Aston Villa tonight. Um, interesting. I think this is the third game. If you, if you look at the last two games and then look at the results tonight, these three games pretty much sum up what it's like to be a Palace fan. Um, tonight, uh, you know, you would expect it to be a, you know, a, a home win really, the way Villa have played recently and also the way Palace have played in the last couple of games. A lot of people say it was a home banker and, you know, to be fair, Villa's dismal record recently and the way they've been playing has uh, had to change at some time and why not against Palace? And, you know, in the build-up to the game I said I was worried about Benteke and he proved to be the difference tonight. Um, and I must admit Scott Dan probably had his worst game in a Palace shirt tonight but I think you know we started the game pretty well we, we attacked we were quick and we started with Wilf out wide instead of Jason Punchin um, and also Joe Ledley missed the game through uh, what we what we know is now is a is a groin injury we think so um, James McArthur slotted in and um, yeah first 10-15 minutes we really had a go over there didn't that they didn't manage to get out of their own half and you know, we thought that was the way the game was going to go, but the longer it went on without us scoring a goal, um, yeah, it just gradually went from there. And I 
to say. I mean, I know our performance wasn't brilliant, but you know, we we gave it a good go. Um, the referee was absolutely dismal. Um, I don't know what it is the referees at the moment. Uh, not just at Palace, but in the Premier League as a whole, they seem to be really poor. Um, so the best referee, some of the decisions. I mean, uh, most of you will have seen the same as what I saw tonight. Um, but amusing a lot of it. But you know, you make your own luck in this game and. You know, if you are playing against a referee, then um, you know you, you just got to try and um, get past that. But um, you know, we we had a penalty appeal turned down. We had a couple of bookings, and um, you know, arguably whether they were bookings or not, I don't know. So yeah, it just wasn't our night. Like I say, we could still be playing now, and we wouldn't have scored a goal. Um, you know, Dwight Gale wasn't on top form. Maybe he was still carrying that knock from the weekend. He he couldn't get on to the end of anything. First half went off at half time. Campbell came on, couldn't get anything going. I think we just lacked a bit of composure, a bit of quality in front of goal, and Benteke just showed that what that bit of quality can do in what you know was you know it's a poor Villa team, and it's really disappointing to come home and and look back and think we should have really won that with the chances we had, and um, you know a bit more composure in front of goal, a bit more quality. Maybe that's what we need to add in January. Maybe that's what we're missing, but. You know, last that's three games in a row. We've won one, drawn one, lost one. You know, we go to Tottenham on Saturday and. Uh, wouldn't put it past us to, uh, to to win, but you know I think Warnock could probably learn from this as well. He looked shell shots at the end of the game. Um, as did many Palace fans were visibly frustrated, bemused as I as I feel now. But uh, you know this is being a Palace fan, isn't it? So um, I'll leave it there for now. And uh, yep, by all means go and check our site. Lots of great content on there. Um, also, five year plan website that we're doing this in conjunction with with Jim. You've already seen Jim and Palace Fan TV is, uh, is the channel you need to check out on YouTube and subscribe and, and uh, check out these uh, these little videos. Hope you enjoy anyway. Um, you know this is this is my first foray into uh, into this kind of thing. So face the radio and all that, and uh, hopefully um, I'm coming across okay. But leave your comments below, as uh, as Jim's already said, and um, we're we're trying to improve as as the season goes on, and hopefully Palace will after today as well. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, leave us your comments. Cheers. Thank you.